Now, you've accomplished a lot. As I said, 25 years old, you're class president at Loyola Marymount, presidential citation winner, Fulbright scholar. I know <laughs> a lot of people with a lot of accolades, but, you know, it doesn't matter if your room is surrounded with honors and diplomas if you're not doing the next step, the next work to help others. Um, does it really mean anything? And, and that's also what you are focused on. How do you take this accomplishment, take this, this history-making position you have and use it for good? 100%. I think from the very first time that I, was, I recognized that I was the first black woman to be president at Harvard Medical School, the thing that came to my mind was, how do I make sure that I'm not the last person to uphold this position? And I think that Sometimes we have this idea that when someone achieves something and they're the first, that that means that that's progression for an entire community. But we've seen that not to be true, because even under President Obama's presidency, we still saw the continued oppression of Black people. So I think something that I've always tried to keep in the back of my mind is that even as I get more accolades and more leadership positions, how do I make sure that it's a collective movement and improvement of the condition for, for the people that I represent? I know when you ran for president of a Harvard Medical School, you said that you recognized that having a voice and being in the room would make a great difference. And, and I think that a lot of young people of your generation, rather than saying, I'm going to stay on the outside and just complain, you decided, I will infiltrate, for lack of a better description, and go inside and be there as a part of the change. Exactly. I think that when you finally have the opportunity to have a seat at the table, it's important to continue to apply pressure. And I think that that's the beauty of having a role like student body president is that suddenly your initiatives and your passion for social justice, that becomes the initiatives and passions of the institution because you really get to set the agenda.